Rogue One Basic 3.75, Rogue Scarif Trooper or Shaw Trooper. And yes, this looks like a great figure. Comes with the longer blaster rifle. And yes, this is probably just a basic grunt soldier. So this is one for army building. There's red on one side of the arm and then a white stripe on the top of that piece of armor there. Comes with that magazine pouch there. Great looking figure. Amazing artwork on the card. So this is your Scarif Shore Trooper. Comes with this huge missile launcher. You can see him holding the missile launcher there. Grappling hook thing. Zip line action. Great looking figure. This costs £6 at Asda in the UK. And yeah, it's a nice looking figure. Back of the card is your typical European card. All the warnings at the bottom. Huge amount of written information there. And then it says Shore Trooper. Specialist Stormtroopers stationed on the stop top mid secret Imperial military headquarters on Scarif. These Shore Troopers patrol the beaches and bunkers on the planetary facility. Great looking figure. <laughs>
shoulders and legs. It's a nice looking figure with nice paint apps on the body, red, yellow there, blue, just looks really nice. Great looking figure. And the armor looks really good. It has trousers up to the here where he has armor again. And the black camera, which is sculpted in. Love the detail in the back. It's amazing. Cool looking figure. I think I like these more than the Death Troopers. You can see the lovely brown trousers, little boots. But when you see the actual um, footage I shot at, Star Wars Celebration, you'll see how detailed these figures really are. Nice looking weapon, let's look at the weapon. It's got a double barrel at the front. Sort of like an enhanced D11 blaster. The figure looks so cool. That's your Shaw Trooper. He's got lovely detailing on his body. Great looking figure. Cool. Another look at the Shaw Trooper. 3.75 basic figure wave 3, I do believe. I bought him at Asda with, along with the Death Trooper and Ginesso disguised as a Imperial ground control or crew. Zipline action. What a great looking figure. Nice. Looks great. Here's the Shore Trooper next to the Rogue One Stormtrooper just to give a sort of idea of the scale in terms of height they're more or less the same height stormtroopers slightly taller both look great you can see this stormtrooper is really good this figure i bought him on friday for two pound 25 great figure and this one cost six pounds the scarif or shore trooper but they look good together it's nice to see how the uniforms evolved and what's similar and different about these two costumes. They both look great. Okay, so that's your Shore Trooper and your regular Storm Trooper. Cool. Okay. This figure is really gonna probably fly off the shelves because it's unless they overproduce them but this one's gonna be good for army building because this is gonna be your basis of your squad of shore troopers then you're gonna need a few officers and squad leaders as well but this is your basic grunt just like the storm I just showed it next to it and so that's your wave 3 basic 3.75 by POA Shore Trooper and overall I think it's quite a good figure I mean I love the design of the costume I think these figures look quite great great so there you go so if you can find this one definitely pick up one at least All right so cheers bye <laughs>
figure it has really nice articulation looks great paint details apps paint apps are just great texturing on the costumes nice just looks the business nice weathering on the figure and yeah this is a great figure so he looks really cool helmet looks amazing back of the costume just the detailing here is really good you can see all the sculpting detail it's the camera which is split at the bottom really nice so it's quite a colorful fi figure it has like a red bit of armor here with three yellow stripes I guess that denotes he's a squad leader all this blue and white stripe these shoulder pads are rubber so they you can bend them quite far upwards and then the helmet can move forward quite a bit up that far down looks pretty cool you can see the ball joint there 